Hello there, my name is Felix and I'm the founder of Domino Chinese. I'm very proud of our platform because it actually guarantees that you will learn Chinese twice as fast as anywhere else online. So uh, join us, there's actually a link below. But enough about that, more to uh, learning how to set up your computer in Chinese. So I've recorded a video on my little computer here and let's all enjoy it together. Now, uh, this is a Mac computer. So uh, what you would do then is you can go to the top here and you go to system preferences. Okay, once you're there, uh, let me move out of the way, you can see language and regions, okay, right here. Uh, where is it? Yeah, right there. You can see where my mouse is. And then you click there, and then uh, you can see all the languages that are displayed, but you actually want to go to keyboard preferences, right here. Okay, once you've done that now, then you can see we only have Swedish right now set up, okay? But we actually want to set up more languages, so we go for the plus sign, right here. Okay, and now we can add more languages. You can also later on plus click the minus one and delete some languages. Here you want to search for pinyin and you want to search for Chinese first of all, and it needs to be simplified. And you also want it to be pinyin, three key words there. Chinese, simplified, pinyin. Don't do anything else unless you know otherwise, okay? Now, once you've clicked that, uh, now you can see it appears here. Let's actually go up and add a sec second one as well, which is tr Chinese, again, it's pinyin, but now it's actually not simplified, now it's traditional instead. And here I just want to show you, please don't choose any of the other ones, unless, again, you know, uh, you know of them or you know why you want to do that. These are like strokes and, and other things. So let's go for Chinese traditional, simple, uh, traditional pinyin now. And now let's open up uh, my little text editor and I want to show you what this is like now. Okay, you have those three languages here, uh, right here. And now, uh, a very easy way to do this is right up by my head, you can actually see this. <laughs> you can actually th see the three languages on your keyboard. So right now we've got Swedish. So if I start typing now, let me just put it up a little bit so you can see it. Now I type hello. Lovely. You already know how to do that, I hope. Okay, you did it when you searched for this YouTube video. Fantastic. But now let's go and search for or set up Pinyin Simplified now, okay? Now you just write, let's write the same thing now. This might happen to you and it happens to me all the time. You start writing and you realize, oh no, I'm in Chinese. Because what it does is it tries to decipher or use the language, the, the written ABC language that you, like the English one, the Latin alphabet, with that tries to uh, give you the character that correspond to that. That's simply how Chinese works. Um, more about that on our website. So you have Ni Hao here, which means hello, Ni Hao, okay? And uh, what you can actually do now is if you enter a uh, caps lock, then what I've actually done here is that uh, this is not in Eng this is in English, but it's actually with the Chinese keyboard, but with caps lock. Very exciting indeed. So this is caps lock on. So you can see Chinese is simple is still set up here. It's still it's still activated, but uh, with the caps lock on and off. So when it's on, you can write in English. When it's off, you can you can go back to writing in Chinese. That's just a short command for you there. So that's pretty much how you do it. But now let's do it in traditional as well. Just to show you, traditional they speak, or they don't speak it, um, they write it. Um, the spoken, sp speaking wise, there's no difference between simplified and uh, traditional. So here you can tell uh, the ma here and the ma here. The ma was the last character in both sentences. Either one, the first one looks a little bit more simplified and that's what you want to do. Now, uh, you can actually go like this, you can toggle away you can either just select it right up here or you can toggle away with hotkeys and that would be, I think it's shift and then the space bar. You can go through languages like so, lovely. Or you can just, once that menu is up, you can like actually move your mouse between those things. You can select them on your own. That's what I do all the time. If a, a shift and space didn't work, uh, probably on the screen right now you have where the, the short command that you want to use instead. And that's pretty much it, fantastic. Thank you so much for watching. And lastly, um, if you didn't hear it in the beginning, my name is Felix, that's not important, but what's more important is what I represent. Domino Chinese, and we actually take my word seriously now, we guarantee that you will learn Chinese twice as fast with us than anywhere else online, okay? That's our little promise to you. Now, below this video, you can find links so you can actually join us for free. Lovely, that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy, um, well, using your new setup, newly set up keyboard. Fantastic. Bye-bye.